My brother Humayun. Her half brother. His reign was struck with many a misfortune. His own brothers never let him live in peace. Neither did Opium. Humayun had in him an innate gentleness, a naivete that a king can ill afford. He had a pet white cockerel, whose duty it was to wake the emperor with its crowing in time for <coughs> dawn prayer. Now, if the cockerel perched on his shoulder, the emperor knew that the day would be a lucky one. <laughs> Humayun had something of the saint in him. Long ago, he had promised our father that no matter how much they deserved it, he would never kill his brothers. And he kept that word against all odds. When Sher Shah attacked, Kamran fled to Lahore. He even ordered for the infant Akbar to be put in the line of fire. Askari crept into Agra to usurp the throne, and Hindal even read the khutbah in his own name. Humayun's response to all this was to banish Askari to Mecca and blind Mirza Kamran in both eyes. After a victory, instead of consolidating his conquest, he would spend months in the camp drinking wine, feasting, hunting, listening to poetry, and taking the opium he was severely addicted to. When he should have been worried about his throne, Humayun spent hours staring at stars in the sky and reading the future in their movement.
Humayun was superstitious and had great faith in signs and omens. The news came. My lady Maham had died. <laughs>